Yo, we about to get into it. What's going on, everybody? We about to read some cancer energy. I know you like that. I know I like that. Um, but yo, check it out. We're going to do a three-card draw. I ain't going to hold you long. Pause. And if you want to get in contact with me, you can reach me by going to the description box. There will be a link there to my website where you can navigate a simplified calendar system to make an appointment with me via Google Meet. Pause or the telephone whichever makes you more comfortable and what else what else what else what else yeah we're here to do a reading for the cancers the cancer energy in general if you want to know how cancer is applied to your chart zodiac and natal um and the cross watches you're definitely welcome I know you want to know too you want to know it's all good so y'all look with that being said let's get these cards red right, bars i'm gonna cut this deck Oh, that card popped out, and I'm told to take it. If that, yo, I'm telling you right now, if that's the Page of Swords, I'm still going to take it, but that's really going to be something. you got to be kidding me. I picked it up upwards. It is the Page of Swords, y'all. This card wants to really be famous today. Before it was reversed. The last two readings, it was in, it was in Gemini reading, it was in Taurus reading. Now it's in this reading. But it was reversed last time, now it's right side up. All right. So this is probably going to have a different feel, different appeal, of course. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Again, this is someone who's in the communication field. I don't know if this is you, Cancer, or if this is someone else that you know. This is someone who's young and curious. Um who's inspired by another. You're inspired by someone. They get your thoughts flowing. They get your ideas flowing. Again, you got to make this fit the way it's supposed to fit. Pause. But I don't know who's who just yet. Um, but this is one who uses calculations in their decision making. Um, this can be someone who travels as well. So if they were to travel towards you, they would plan that. They'd calculate that. They'd know why they're coming. Pause. But I also get that they are operating. Yeah, I'm getting that this is someone. No, I'm getting that this is you, Cancer. That this is you knowing that there's some type of patience needed in calculating, making the trip towards this person in some type of way. You're also... Want You want to tell them something, but you're not telling them yet. You're even delaying the news that is to be conveyed to them. I don't know why. This is your, I'm getting strategy here. I'm getting you being protective. You're being guarded. And reason being is you want to, you're gauging this person because you want to be fair to them. Whatever that means. I'm going to draw a card to see how you feel about this situation. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> so what I get from this is... I get this as someone that you can see yourself at least involved with. I'm not going to say partnering with yet, but involved with in a way that is more like an independent contractor. And you want to see if they are actually profitable. Reason being is you want to be sure that they're able to carry their own baton without having to pass it to you and depend on you or anyone else that they're doing business with in general. Um, and in order to do that, you need patience. So that's why the Page of Swords is drawn in the beginning, because you need to utilize some type of patience to keep an eye on that. And it's like you got a way of... Hmm, yeah, I think just by seeing them, you have a way to see them, whether you're in the workplace with this person. But you do have a way to see this and identify this just by vision. Um, you also want to see how rewarding hard work can be on their end, because I think 
what you're doing also while delaying the news and you're utilizing patience is you're seeing how you can fit into the equation yourself as yourself. And this is why I get even more of a feeling of an independent contractor. First of all, the nine of pentacles is about independent wealth anyway. So that's the top it off pause of why I'm picking up on independent contracting. But because of delayed news and news and patience and stuff like that, too, I also feel like you want to be sure that you can be yourself and not be under the rule of subordination. You got a lot more wiggle room pause when you're dealing with independent contracting. Um, a lot more freedom, too. And I, I believe that that's one of the other things that you're looking at is freedom and being able to mature within the structure of what's going on. But I am picking up on business. Let's see the factors to consider regarding this cancer. We got more page energy. Some young energy popping up. Oh, you might fall in love with this person, cancer. That could even be what the delayed news is about in the beginning. The patience and communication. It's, just, it's like you're spoon feeding them. It's, just like, it's like you're like here. Here. You're like here. You know? And then you pull back the teat. And you're just like, oh, wait a minute. Did you like that? You want to be sure. And, um... But it's a good idea. Look, I'm just reading. This is the Page of Cups. It's a good idea to feel this way. It's a good idea to... If you, if you feel this intuitively, and you feel comfortable, that's like the key word here. You're comfortable feeling that way, behaving that way. If you're comfortable, comfortable, bull, that's a Taurus word. If you're comfortable um, being introverted around this person, it's a good idea. I'm telling you all of the signs to look out for. If they're cooperative, it's a good idea. Even if they're quiet, a bit dreamy, mystified, imaginative, it's a good idea. And you're probably the same as what I'm picking up on. And this is why you feel comfortable enough. Or you may feel comfortable enough to offer a cup of emotion simultaneously. That's all I got for this reading. Till next time, I'm out.